Hi, my name is Andy. Today we're going to talk about the basics of a multimeter, specifically an ohm resistance test and a continuity test. Your meter may or may not look like mine. This is a Fluke Model 116 outstanding meter. Uh, yours can be anything from a $5 generic version, no problem. Still going to do the test the same way. Basically what an ohm test will do, first you plug in your leads. You should have a black and a red lead. Plug them into the corresponding color. And then turn your meter to the ohm test. And essentially what this test will do is tell us if these two leads are touching or not. You can see that the meter changes it's an open circuit shown as OL. Then when they touch, it'll show us what the resistance reading is. Likewise, when we touch a part, obviously make sure the power's off and then the wires are unplugged from the part that you're testing. This could certainly still be installed on the appliance. But you'll see that it went from open circuit and this is a good part, so it should show some resistance, a fairly low number. If it's a very high number, could indicate that you have a failed part. So this is a cycling thermostat for a dryer. Essentially it's an on-off switch based on temperature. So right now you do have resistance, meaning that electricity can flow through this part. Once it gets to a certain temperature, 121 degrees Celsius, you'll hear a click, this will open up, and then basically it goes back to an open circuit, cutting the power to your heating element for your dryer. So that's just one example. Another super common part that you'll find is a micro switch. Um, anything from float switches for your dishwasher to door switches to you name it. And they're used everywhere. And these, you know, first test you do is just make sure it clicks. You should hear a clicky clicky. And this is a three prong micro switch. And you'll have to read on the switch itself, but you'll see typically a common, which is the bottom. NO, which is normally open, so this should be a normally open circuit just with this resting state. Then you'll see NC, which is normally closed. For our test today, we're going to do that one. I'll touch the black to the common. And you'll see that that is normally open until that switch is depressed and then we have a closed circuit back to open back to closed alternatively um, this is the ohm test that we're doing you can also if your meter has this function looks like a Wi-Fi symbol this is the audible continuity test so right now we're on the normally open circuit and we're going to depress the switch and you get an audible beep. But I want you to notice that it just gives you zero as the reading. It does not give you as detailed of a ohms of resistance reading. For that reason, I tend to prefer the ohms of resistance uh, test. You can still see if it has continuity or not with either test, but this one will give you what the resistance is. So I hope that helps you some for continuity testing with your appliance repair. Thanks for watching.